Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing so so well. I've just nipped in and picked myself up a little Starbies. I have been so ill the last week. Like today is the first day that I've actually got out of bed, washed my hair, put some makeup on and got out of the house and I thought, oh god I can't get this drawer in. And I thought what a better place to come to then starbucks obviously you know my order hot chalk semi skim milk a little bit of whipped cream i didn't get it extra hot today i was off, i wasn't on form i wasn't on top form i'm not gonna lie the questions that are about to follow no one has asked me i wanted to film this video and i was like oh should i put a question box up and then i thought well no one's gonna ask me anything so what i did was i was watching other people's q and a's and making note of the good questions and i thought i would just ask myself those questions so my first question is have you stuck to your new year's resolutions and the short answer is no i had two serious new year's resolutions and those were to upload to youtube every week once a week and the second one was to go to the gym twice a week and i haven't been to the gym at all this week and last week i didn't upload because i wasn't very well new year's resolutions are, are difficult aren't they and that's why i feel like i always really struggle in january so this is quite deep like straight away but i always struggle in january because i think i write out all my goals i set up january first comes round, and i put so much pressure on january to be such an amazing month that actually it ends up not if i just chilled out and was like these are my goals for the year if we get to the year and we've achieved them then brilliant but if we haven't then i mean there's always 2024 a personal goal of mine for february is to just go with the flow and it's a very difficult one because i'm not a go with the flow person like i need to know everything i need to have a plan i need to be working towards that plan and when things don't work for me I feel like it just really frustrates me. So yeah, the that was a very long rambly answer just of saying, no, I haven't stuck to any New Year's resolution. The next question, any upcoming trips or holidays? Me and Rob absolutely love to travel. It is our favourite thing to do together. I feel so lucky that I'm able to travel around the world. My job is so flexible. I can take time off whenever I like. And I get quite a few days annual leave, which I'm really, really lucky. The first thing we have planned is Iceland. We are off to Iceland in March. I wanted to do a snowy trip. I did contemplate going skiing, but I couldn't be bothered to learn how to ski. I'm not a very active girl. Like, as much, I do go to the gym and I do like my class, my hit classes at the gym. But do I really want to be on the slopes all day, every day? I don't know. My idea of skiing is sitting inside by the fire looking at the mountains with a hot chalk and i think me and rob just had very different ideas of skiing so we've decided on iceland yeah i'm so excited to get in the blue lagoon i'm deciding between the blue lagoon and the sky lagoon i'm i haven't decided yet that is the only thing that's booked in the diary we're definitely going to new york again that was one of my absolute favorite places on the whole entire planet I cannot wait to go back and this time I think we're going to try and go back in November so a bit closer to Christmas but not quite Christmas where it's absolutely rammed. So New York, I really want to do south of Italy, Positano, Amalfi, Sorrento, where else? Switzerland, I really want to go to Zurich, I want to go to the Lindt Chocolate Factory. I just, the, the views in Switzerland, Rob's always wanted to go to Switzerland so two birds one stone. I'm so excited for all the travel vlogs. Of course, I'm going to vlog everything. This is what I have loved so far about being on YouTube is just having all those memories to look back on. Next question is, which actually nicely ties in, would you ever permanently live abroad? Now, me and Rob talk about moving to New York most days. If we could move to New York tomorrow, you best believe I'll be packing my bags and we would be off. Like that is just a place that is just so special to us. We love it. And I think it's it's got the same vibe as London. So you don't feel like you're too far out. For example, when we went to Capri, I would love to move to Capri. I would love to have a house in Capri or like a villa in Capri that I could visit. But you feel so far from anything, like you're literally on a little island. Whereas New York, it's like the hustle and bustle of London. You still feel like you're in a big city. Like, oh, I would just, I would give anything to live there, seriously. Day in the life of a girl that lives in New York, manifesting. Seriously, I love London and there is nowhere else that I, re I really want to live 
than London. As much as it'd be nice to do like a year in New York, six months in New York, I don't know. I just, my heart is in London. Next one, which is quite a good one. Who do you think is gonna win Love Island? So this year, I have been absolutely loving Love Island. I want Will and Jessie to win. Will is absolutely brilliant. Like, I think <laughs> he is the best contestant that has ever been on Love Island. Seriously, seriously, he is the, he is brilliant when they went to the hideaway the other night i was literally wetting myself i was crying with laughter he was absolutely brilliant i thought originally that lana and ron were gonna win it but oh, i don't know I, I can't see that happening now i mean he's done her over so many times she's done casey over which i think has kind of put her in the the bad books because if i'm honest i think what she did to casey was actually a lot worse than what Ron did to her. So yeah, I think they've lost their chance. I really, really love Tanyelle. I, Tanyelle would be my friend. I just, me and Tanyelle would be friends. She is my kind of girl. She's honest. She is just, I really like her. She doesn't take everything, anything too seriously. She's got the inspirational quotes that she comes out with, honestly, are amazing i love her usually the winter love island is never as good as the summer one but it's, this series is giving it a run for its money like i'm i'm loving it so the next question is what is your five-year plan babies marriage and moving out me and rob are so ready to move out like unbelievably ready to move out like i was ready about six months ago we originally said that 2022 was going to be the year we were house hunting or flat hunting unfortunately nothing came up house prices have hit the roof interest rates have like doubled tripled quadrupled and it's just not looking likely that we're gonna move out anytime soon so this is the thing i was telling everyone september 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 and i think as I was telling other people, I was trying to manifest it and I thought if I say it out loud, it's going to happen. But it didn't and I was a little bit devastated. But it means that now we can go on all our lovely holidays and just enjoy life. What else was the question? Moving out. I've literally just gone in on moving out babies oh my god guys right molly may has made me so broody like my mum and my sister keep saying i'm like, so desperate to have a baby they keep holding up little um whenever we go out we're looking at baby clothes but as i said like i'm literally still living between mine and rob's house and it just is not practical bringing a baby into that like because in five years time i'll be 27 that is crazy right i'm 27 what do I see? I see me, I see Rob, I see a little doggy, sausage dog, potentially. A flat maybe closer into London, so Clapham, Ballam, that kind of way. Maybe a little bump. Maybe I'm having a gender reveal. 100% a ring on my finger by 27. I mean, if you're not going to get engaged to me, literally, after being together for, like, 12 years, then are you ever going to marry me? <laughs> yeah, so that was another thing I thought I'd talk about. Me and Rob have been together. Well, we've, we met in school, so we've been together since we were 15. So by 27, we would have been together 12 years. So we definitely should be, by that point, moved out, ring on the finger and a baby on the way hopefully my mum says i'm gonna have a girl first but i literally see a little boy that looks exactly like rob ginger hair blue eyes oh i just can't wait i actually can't wait like to make something that's like me and him and like grow it and my body and everything be about me a baby shower gender reveal although with a gender reveal, I don't know if I'll find out with everyone. I think it'd be so nice to be in the the room where you're getting the scan and me and Rob find out and just the lady tell us what we're having. And then I can throw a gender reveal for all my friends and family. So like I can pop the balloon. I'll already know. I can plan it. It's a surprise for everyone in the room. I think that's how I would do it. But anyway, it's a long way off. In five years time, I'd love to just be still documenting my life. Like, I think this is the thing. When you start a YouTube channel, I don't know why it's so embarrassing. 
like I don't know if it's because people assume that you think you're gonna like you think you're something special and all of a sudden you're gonna be a youtuber and all like this like for me that is just a hundred percent not the case I've started this channel because I just want to have all my memories somewhere how old was I five years ago so if I'm gonna be 22 Okay, I would love to listen to 17 year old me tell me what I think is going to happen in five years time. Like, I think that's so funny to be able to look back at just your life and just have that all documented. That was another thing that I wrote down, okay? Tips for people that want to start a YouTube channel. I don't really think I'm in the position to give anyone any advice, but I have been doing it a few months now. And um, one thing I, or two things I will say, if you want to do it, just do it. Because I thought I was going to get a little bit, you know, like from people that live in your area, like I thought everyone was going to be like, oh God, that's really embarrassing. But no one has actually said anything to me. Um, you might all be saying it behind my back, but I don't really care. And I think now it's now I've put like a few videos out, I don't think anyone bats an eyelid anymore. So I would just say, if you want to do it, do it because before you know it, it'll be a year, two years, three years, four years down the line and you still haven't done it. And what, because you're worried that people are going to laugh at you? Like, I don't even, I, I've just gone past the point of caring. People were laughing at me before the YouTube, like I'm the clumsiest person, I'm always falling over, I'm always doing something stupid, so might as well just add the YouTube into the mix. And then my second tip would be, so before I start a video like this, I blare my music. So I've usually got some Drake on, some Nicki Minaj, like ones that I can sing to. Just, I know this sounds ridiculous, I just warm my voice up. <laughs> because before I would start a video, and this would be the first time I was speaking in the day. And my voice just sounded really funny. I was like really stiff and boring. Yeah, it just almost like warms your voice up, gets you like ready to like start speaking. So yeah, they're my two tips. Just do it and sing before you start. Next question. I will do a few quick fire now because I've realized I have been a bit rambly. If you could only wear one clothing brand for the rest of your life, which clothing brand would it be? god oh quick fire i don't know adenola i obviously love all their um active wear like i've got their leggings on now i'm always wearing their hoodies their socks then skims i love my skims dresses and then the third one would be zara yeah this jacket is zara this top is zara so it'd be between them three because i think skims i love the dresses and the bodysuits but I wouldn't have any, I wouldn't wear jeans ever again or leggings. Adenola. I'm gonna go Adenola. I love Adenola, but I just don't invite me out to the club because I'll be arriving in Adenola in that case. The question is what is your dream car? So my dream car has to be. See, I always say to Rob, my dream car's a Range Rover. But Rob was like, that's not a dream car. Because every like people have Range Rovers. Like you want you want to aim for a Ferrari or a Rolls Royce. I'm just not a big car girl. Like my little Fiat, I've had her five years this year. Like today we have had a bit of an issue where we, it's come up on my dashboard saying I'm having an airbag failure, which obviously isn't great. So mate, I hope this, I hope we do make it to five years. It's five years in June or July, I wanna say. And I would literally buy a new Fiat. Like if I had all the money in the world, I would obviously love a Range Rover, but I'm just not the best at parking. So I don't know how that would work. I thought this was actually a nice question to finish off on. And it is something that I'm grateful for. I definitely don't ask myself this question enough. Something that I'm grateful for is my family and Rob and I suppose just my health and just life. Like, I know that sounds really cringy. I am, and I hate to say this, and I am working on this, I'm quite a negative cup half empty kind of girl but when you actually sit down and think about it I'm just so grateful to be here to be happy to be healthy have my family have Rob do you know like, I'm just so I just feel so grateful like when I sit here and think about it I'm actually the luckiest girl in the world ask yourself 
what you're grateful for because it actually has just changed my entire mood and instead of just thinking about the negatives of life you just have to be positive and you just think i literally have everything that i ever need and i'd ever want so that is it for all of the questions i really hope you enjoyed this video i actually really enjoyed filming it if you have made it to the end then i love you millions i really really appreciate it thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you haven't already i upload every sunday and i will see you next week love you bye Mwah!